So this is, uh, this is, uh, well, this is not good. I'm going west now. So I'm still going further away from the car. I don't know. I, I, I just got to turn east at some point. So I wanted to show you this. You can see the wild pigs have been in here. So you do have uh, some danger here. Now look here. I think this is what those kids were talking about. So finally the trail is turning that direction because I'm going west at this point. And this might be where they were talking about the service road. You know, maybe they went down that by accident, just like I did on the other one. But at least on that tree, it's telling me to make a, a left here, which is good. Uh, I'm still going, uh, well, I'm going to say I'm still going south, but it looks like it might be turning. And maybe I'll start hitting, uh, well, I'm at least, at least I'm going parallel to the sun. So let's see, the sun is in the west. So I guess I'm still going somewhat south. But, you know, it is beautiful back here. But uh, you can see the ground turn it tore up back here. Lots of wild pigs in here. Or boars or whatever you want to call them. So this is uh, absolutely gorgeous right here. I mean, look at this. It got a swamp on the right. Um, you know, it's uh, with all the palm trees. Definitely a huge transition. I'm glad I cut the video on right here. Uh, I'm enjoying the hike. I'm just nervous about being back here in the dark, you know. And I'm not sure. A lot of these trees have this blue paint on them. If you know what that's about, leave a comment below because I'm not sure what that what that means. Why they have a blue mark on the trees? But I tell you what, if you just wanted to come out for a day and get some exercise, I mean, we're 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 better because you go hiking than right here, man. This is awesome. So I'm kind of making a transition out of the uh, the swampy area. You know, you still got the uh, the, the, the um, palm trees over here, and you know, but over here it's more or less a pine forest. Now my guess, because I did see a logging truck uh, come in, I'm going to guess that blue paint means they're going to log those trees. That's my guess anyway. Maybe come back someday, and uh, and if we see a bunch of stumps, we we know I was correct of that about what it means to have blue paint on a tree. So. Uh, I'm still moving away from the car. <laughs> I man, I tell you, I, well, they said two and a half hours, so, so I'm about another half hour from them kids. So I got, I got another two hours to go, which should, if I if I if I don't get lost, that that'll put me right back at the car just as it's getting dark, hopefully. But if I uh, make a wrong turn, I'm screwed. So, so I thought about it. I haven't done a panoramic, and I. Uh, I keep thinking I'm going to turn east, and maybe I am at this point, because you can see the sun here setting in the west, and the trail's starting to go this way. But let me just be quiet and let you listen and see what I'm seeing. Let's just do a quick panoramic. So we're in a transition. Every time I think I'm turning east, I'm not. But you know, I do like to get some of the trees on the video. Look at these back here. Pretty cool. But uh, you see what I mean? Like right here, I thought, whoa, I'm going to be turning east. Nope. <clears throat> then the trail winds back to the right. So I'm getting further and further and further from the car. I don't know. I mean, I, it's too late to turn back at this point. You know, I got to try to get the loop in if I can do it. Uh, he'll know he might be back here quite some time. But uh, you can see now we're coming up into a, uh, a grassy area. So that would be interesting. Uh, nice transition. I'll get another clip up there. So my guess is they logged this. And uh, you can see the trail is uh, taking a new transition. I'm still not quite moving east. But uh, at least it's working that way. So who knows? I, I might make it yet. You never know. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, and you know what? I used to be against uh, logging like that. But, uh, you know, that's a nice fire break. Uh, in case, you know, we have a wildfire. Or, I mean, the, that underbrush right there would burn. But, uh, but at least, uh, and plus, you know, we do need the wood. 
So, uh, you know, I'm not against this anymore. And uh, you can see they left a few trees, uh, and this will eventually grow back. Uh, I would imagine they'll allow it to reclaim at some point. And those trees back there with the blue marks on them will probably get logged. But anyway, I'm getting encouraged because I think I'm working my way back to on the loop here, trying to head back east. Uh, now the hiking's gotten a bit more difficult and horsey along here because it's uh, gotten real sandy, but uh, it's not too bad. So here's one problem with hiking Hapata. If I went that direction, that's actually almost going east, but there's not a marker here. And that doesn't look very much like a trail. Maybe just a fire break. So I'm gonna keep going this way and hope I see a marker. You know, that's, uh, that's one thing about back here. I mean, how long does it take to put a marker on that tree right there just to show that you're on the trail? You know, so you, uh, you can't get lost back here for sure. And I might be right now. There's no turning back at this point. I'm way too far into the hike. Look at the birds over here. See them flying? Isn't that cool? All right. Just wanted to get, <laughs> they left a shovel right there. I don't know why, but that's what it looks like. That's what we came down. You can tell that's a, that's a long hike, man. That's just for sure. But I'm real encouraged because here on this post, thank God they got it marked. It's showing the trail going, well, see now, well, I know I've got to go east. So, my three, I, this was where not having a map was probably a stupid idea. But uh, I'm going to head on this way, and you can see the marker on the tree down here. And so they got that roped off. So I'm not sure what that means, but uh, I'm encouraged because now the sun's at my back. And that means I'm going east. So, and that's what I've been wanting to see for a while. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not on the way back yet. I'm just heading back towards the, uh, where the turn will move back to the uh, north. That's because, and then once I start heading north, I know that I'm getting close to, to getting back to the car before it gets dark. So, so look, if we've got the wind at our back now. Let's keep going. So I'm real encouraged. I'm heading, uh, east east northeast uh because the sun's getting to my left hand side for the first time into the hike but i wanted to show you this transition you know we came out of that uh that um, tree uh, area and so now we're just kind of back into a pine forest i'm having to slow down just a bit because you can see it's kind of sandy it, obviously they i believe they were logging because you can see the uh the tire tracks uh quite a few um you know, at some point they need to bring a grader back here and just, uh, you know, just grade this just a little bit. But uh, I imagine that would make, might even make things worse. Who knows? But uh, so it's, uh, it's tough hiking at this point, but it is quite beautiful. So I just wanted to get this transition on the video, uh, you know, because we've come out of that swampy area and now we're kind of back into here. But I'm very encouraged because the sun is moving more and more to the left hand side. And that indicates to me that at least I'm starting to head back instead of away from <laughs> away from the car. <laughs> so anyway, let's just keep going. So I thought I'd get a quick selfie on the video. So I'm still on the Hapata Trail here, or the loop. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, this will be by far the longest hike that I've done and uh, well probably since backpacking to, uh, you know the uh, up in Nile Royal when I was a young man because I am tired and uh, but it's beautiful I mean it's a it's a beautiful beautiful hike uh, you know th there's another arrow on the tree so luckily I know that I'm on the trail now so here's a here's another road cutting in I'm wondering if I could have shortened this hike by taking one of those side roads uh, someday maybe come back and uh, try it out and because you know if, if, if this was a bit shorter i'll tell you what i'd just come back here for exercise because uh, i mean the transitions the the beauty the uh the ability to hike at about three to four miles an hour um you know you're more or less on a road so you don't have to worry about spiders in your face um you know i haven't seen any wildlife which is good and bad <laughs> some wildlife you want to see some you don't want to see you know 
But anyway, so I just thought I'd get a quick selfie as I'm hiking along, because I'm way, way back here. Uh, but I know that I'm, I've made the turn for sure, because the sun's more or less somewhat on my left-hand side, which indicates to me that I'm on my way back. But it was a long ways out to get to here. So I got a long ways back. So anyway, that's my selfie for this video. So looks like I'm making another turn. This is where having a map would be nice. That's a four on that post. I'm gonna have to look at that map. But it's showing, see there's a, there's a marker on the tree down here. The sun's behind me, so I'm heading east. But I'm not sure if that's the trail there or that's the trail there. Oh man, I tell you. I wish I had more daylight, I wouldn't be worried. But this would put the sun on my left if I went that way. Whereas this way would just be going east. I don't understand what they're trying to tell me here with that arrow. Because see, it could be pointing in this direction. Well, see, now they got that right there showing you can go either way. Well, I'm going to go this way because it's that puts the sun on my left on my uh, on my left side, which means that I'm actually heading north, which would take me back. So uh, hopefully uh, I'm making the right decision here. We'll see. So here's a marker on the post. So I'm on a trail. I'm not on a, a side road. Um, sun's on my left. So should be on my way back. But man, there's a long ways to get out here. I can't imagine how long the hike is going to be going back. Especially now, I'm not moving three or four miles an hour at this point. I'm probably only getting about two miles an hour. My, my legs are tired, man. But a uh, beautiful day. Beautiful day, beautiful hike. I just wish I hadn't gotten such a late start. Uh, I shouldn't have talked to that guy for a half hour. But he was the first, Todd was the first person I've met who actually knew you know, about the uh, Aqua River Trail. He actually knew about the Sunny Hill Restoration area. You know, so he's, uh, he's a hiker too. So he's, uh, he's been around the area and uh, he didn't give me any new hikes. But uh, anyway, it was fun talking to a fellow hiker. You know, you, you don't really meet many people here in Central Florida who enjoy hiking the way that I do. I mean, it is my passion for sure. All right. All right, uh, we're a bit of a ways away. But there's actually some deer on the path up here. I'm going to try to be nice and quiet. And let's see if uh, how close I can get before they scare off and run into the woods. Let's see, they're moving. There they go. One, two, three, four, five. I counted six, I think. All right, well, that's cool. I'm glad I got it on the video. So I wanted to get this on the video. I thought that was a real pretty scene. And you got the birds up here, kind of with the sun coming in and just hitting that area. Boy, I tell you what, though, I am not going to lie. So occasionally you'll see a ranger back here, you know, because they drive around. Uh, I tell you what, if one drove by right now, <laughs> I'd hop in a vehicle with them. I'd say, man, can I please, God, ride back with you to my car? And uh, I don't think he would refuse me, but I don't think I'm going to see one today. I'm, uh, I'm somewhat encouraged. I, I'm more or less heading northeast. Uh, I will like it when I'm heading due north, because that means I've really made the, the turn to get back. But at this point, I'm still... You know, I'm still on the outer portion of the loop. So, uh, you know, definitely bit off more than I should have chewed today. But, uh, you know, I want to get all of Hapata in so we can move on to some other trails. So I just felt it was important to knock out as much as I could today. 
and uh, you know and of course we'll be back here on occasion to do other other trails but uh, I'm going to move on to the with Lacucci bike trail uh, probably going to take me a week to rec <laughs> recover from this hike <laughs> oh my god my legs are hurting all right let's keep going so I wonder if they left the keys in that <laughs> they wouldn't expect somebody to jump in and ride one of these things back to the parking lot but I always try to so sunshine palms timber and look at that monster tiger cat and here's where they're uh, there's a uh, another tiger cat and then here's the uh, the logging machine where they're doing some logging like I said I used to kind of be against this but uh, it's important to thin these forests out, you know, so you don't have those massive fires like they do in California. So, well, I'd love to see that thing in operation, though. I bet that would be cool to watch. I guess that logging truck probably came in here that I saw coming in when I first got here and uh, made a pickup and, uh, and then just went back out and they were done for the day because it is getting uh, late in the day. I don't know how many, how long, how much more sunlight that I've got. But from what I can tell, I am heading back at this point. At least I think I am. I've got the sun on my left, and uh, you can see it's still continuing to be uh, quite beautiful. Very nice, very nice hike. Uh, too long for me. Hey, there's another deer up there. Uh, you might not get him on the video. But uh, you see what I mean about the evenings? In the evenings is when you get the wildlife. Uh, you know, during the day, you wouldn't see if it was... If it was noon or whatever, you know, I, I doubt very seriously you would see a deer uh, back here. Because this is a hunting area, so they, the deer here actually do fear, fear people. Uh, whereas, you know, when you go to a place like uh, Baseline Park where hunting's not allowed, you know, you can almost walk up and pet the dog on deer, which is good and bad, you know. But anyway, let us, uh, just wanted to show you that uh, logging equipment. Get that on the video. I found it interesting. So once again, a map would have been nice, but uh, the sun's to my left. And see, I'm at post five, whatever that means, without a map. So I want to keep the sun to my left. So I'm going to keep going. But you could see, you know, you could come back. Maybe, well, you know, I have to see how far it is to get back and how to get here and maybe we could come back and hike that trail man i tell you you could just hike around back here for days and days i just hope hope i'm going the right way here but i know i got to keep the sun to my left all right let's keep on going well i thought i'd get these on the video some more logging vehicles one down here i was getting a little worried the trail was looked like it was going to loop back to the west, which would have uh, been bad. But I can see it's just kind of, well, I'm heading more or less north, uh, northwest at this point. So I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But you can see, uh, see what I'm seeing. And there's a plane. You know, one problem with being out here <laughs> is, is you don't ever see anybody. You know, I did see two kids that, you know, way, way back. You know, it'd be wonderful if you could uh, ask somebody, say, hey, hey, am I, uh, am I heading back towards the, uh, the entrance or uh, am I completely lost? Uh, that's kind of one disadvantage of being out here by yourself without a map. But look at that. That's a lot of wood. So I know I'm making way too much video, but this is a nice transition, isn't it? Look at the grass with the sun going down and these kind of stubbly trees over here uh, a totally different look than being back there in the uh, in that pine forest with all the palm trees and the swampy area you know so you're getting on this trail you basically get every look that florida has to offer it's just a bit too long for me to hike uh, I'll, well i might uh, you know if, if if in the future i need a good long hike i would love to come back you know Something I thought about, because I do try to do, well, once I'm through this divorce, you know, uh, I might have, you know, I'll have some time on my hands, hopefully, 
you know, I got to be an Uber driver, got to get my mom taken care of, you know, there's a, there's a whole list of things, but as a community service uh, project, I would love to come out here. I bet there's an app. I'm sure there's an app that I can put on my phone and uh, it would be, it'd be, it'd be fun to put up little posts along this trail, like mile one, mile two, mile three, you know, hell even have a little sign, you know, uh, entrance this way, <laughs> you know, just, just to, just to mark the trails a little bit better than what they are. And, uh, you know, I, hell, I could go to a, actually go to a sign shop probably, and it wouldn't cost much, get them to make the signs, you know, mile one, mile two. And, uh, and that way you could figure out how far along on this loop that you are. And then also, you know, have, have a little, little, little arrow sign saying, uh, you know, entrance or south entrance. Yeah, there's two entrances here that I know of. Might even be more, but uh, only two that I know of. It's Pruitt, and then of course there's a, one just down from Ross Prairie. Uh, you can come in from that side. That's nowhere near as beautiful a hike as this is coming from that side. But uh, so you could, you know, and put your know, north entrance this way, and just hike around back here and put up signs, you know. I, I, and that would be actually be kind of fun. So I, I'm going to try to do that at some point. But first, I gotta gotta get my mom taken care of, and gotta get through the divorce, and uh, and then I you know work on being an Uber driver. Those are my three priorities besides getting out and getting my exercise. But anyway, so this is uh, this is what I'm seeing now. You know, and this see this wouldn't be bad to hike in the dark. But you know what I got to thinking. You know, right now I'm navigating by the sun. You know, if if it did get dark. You know, the only thing that I know how to find is the North Star. <laughs> so, so I guess I could navigate, but there are a few clouds in the sky. But yeah, as long as I can find that Big Dipper, you know, the, the end of the Big Dipper points to the North Star. You know, because I know as long as I head in north, I'm going to eventually get back to uh, a road, a, you know, a, a paved road of some sort, 484 and perhaps. Uh, and then I can work my way to the car if I'm not hitting that should be heading that direction right now all right so i just thought i wanted to get this transition on the video i think it's quite beautiful we'll get uh that's all i'm going to do when i get home is eat a ton of food sit behind the computer and work on these videos this might even be three videos but uh when you got to hike this long i don't know what to tell you you know you got to get i mean look at that this is one hell of a transition i mean it's beautiful absolutely beautiful Well, unless I'm mistaken, we've made it. In fact, this is the road that I mountain bike down a ways because I believe I'm seeing the monument up here next to that truck. There goes a bird. That's the monument. So well, probably about another uh, 20 minutes, I'll be back at the car. At least I know where I'm at. So navigating by the sun. Not a bad way. That'll be it for the day. Let's do the mantra. Freedom! Oh, freedom! Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no jab requirements, no mask requirements, no lockdowns, and no mandates. Where we are free to come and do as we please under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And if you're a Democrat, go to California. They, 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 they love Democrats in California. You know, you'll be right at home. If you're a Democrat, go to New York. There's the picnic table. We're, we're practically home. Go to, go to New York, you know, go to Illinois. That'd be a good place for you, especially Chicago. I would highly recommend Chicago at this day and age. But if, you know, if, if you're a Democrat, you can go there. There's going to be a lot of people that you can identify with. Don't come to Republican Cal or Florida. That's for doggone sure. You wouldn't want to boom an economy or anything like that. You know, you'd like your lockdowns. You like your mandates. Peace out. Stay free. So I realized I didn't do a summary of today's hike. Uh, real quick. Um, you know, this would be a great place to mountain bike. I mean, that, that trail, there were sections that got a little bit sandy, so, you know, you could take a spill. But other than that, I, I would say, wait a minute. <laughs> I had the camera. So, I 
always like to summarize the hike. By the way, I went through the whole battery on that GoPro. <laughs> this might be three videos. But uh, so here's where we, here's 484. We came in, we started here. Okay, we went down, we made this turn, hiked all through here, came here, and luckily I could have gone this direction. Thank God I didn't. Uh, and then it came up here, and then we saw this turn right here, which I didn't take because uh, I had the sun to my left. So I came back down to here and then hiked back to here. And uh, I don't know how many miles that is. Uh, I, I, like I said, someday I'll come back and hike it. Well, here you can, here's your scale. Here's zero to 0.5. So you figure 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, probably about, uh, I'm going to say six miles, five or six miles at least. So it'd be nice if they put little mile markers out there. Um, you know, one of the guys pointed out, uh, you know, you do get fairly close down here. I think, well, that's 39, but I'm not sure if this is the Wickwick with Lacoochee River flowing along here. I mean, look how close you got to it. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm glad to be done. Uh, to summarize the hike, uh, it was... Um, uh, beautiful. And you could definitely mountain bike it. Boy, some sandy sections uh, where you might have some difficulty on a, on a, you know, if your tires weren't nice and uh, wide to get through, uh, you know, you could take a spill. But other than that, uh, I, I wouldn't mind just coming back and just mountain biking it. And uh, that would be a nice ride, you know, for, for a day. And then, you know, take bring, bring some picnic supplies and, uh, you know, you could hit that picnic table that's down there about a mile or so. All right, so uh, you guys peace out, stay free. That's it, I'm, I'm actually making this video on the phone. <laughs> like I said, I used up the whole battery on the GoPro. Can't believe it. So that's it for, for today's hike. We've got a, knocked out quite a bit of a Halpata. Um, like, so the next video will be the uh, Withlacoochee uh, bike ride on the Withlacoochee bike trail. And uh, that, that, that's, I'm looking forward to bike ride at this point. I've had enough hiking for a while.